course, remove the bread, remove the wheat and remove the seed oils, but I don't eat sugar. So is that okay? I was like, no. <laughs> so um, they don't realize that all carbohydrate gets converted into glucose. So shall we talk about that? It's um, all carbs are sugar, you know, regardless of where they come from in nature. Carbs equals sugar. And this is the common dis disconnect, I think, isn't it, with, uh, you know, the, the modern community is that we think the carbohydrates are different to sugar. They are one and the same. We have to remove the carbohydrates. So as we said last week, the grain, that includes wheat and bread. And bread spikes blood sugar actually more than sugar. So what that means in simple terms is carbohydrates have told your body to store fat. Carbs store fat. Insulin. Insulin blocks hormone-sensitive light bears. Doesn't lower the insulin, though, because they keep telling them to eat the carbohydrates. High blood pressure or essential hypertension is caused by elevated insulin. Sugar in the brain is known as Alzheimer's. Sugar in the eye is known as glaucoma. The key to this is removing the glucose or the carbohydrate, because, again, all carbohydrate is sugar. When we reduce this, insulin begins to correct itself. The answer to this, reduce the carbohydrate. It's super yeah. simple. Reduce the carbohydrate. In fact, it's, it's impossible or near enough impossible to store fat unless we elicit insulin. Protein is for your bones, your heart, your brain, your skin.